Hello there YouTube. Today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the 300 degrees on the Sprite Extruder Pro. Mm, without further ado, let's get to it. So first you open Notepad++ and I already put these values in which is the comment. It's C104 U1 T315. If you make this T300, it will have the buffer, so it's going to be 285 degrees instead of 300. But uh, guys, I don't know what you're printing, but uh, I am never using those values of um, temperatures. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys how to unlock it. And if your printer starts uh, beeping with uh, thermal... Uh, issues then um, I can't help you uh, it's uh, the settings you have to tune your PID um, of your hot end it has to be tuned before you get to 300 degrees and to be honest the PTFE tubing in the Sprite Extruder Pro it will not last um, 300 degrees so I'm not sure what's going to be happen when you actually reach the 300 degrees. I'm guessing the degradation of the parts will be really well fastened and um, you will have issues most likely. I haven't tried it um, to print on, on those temperatures. I don't have the materials for it anyway. So. I'm just showing you guys how to unlock it on MRS uh, COC firmware, the latest one, how to do it. So you give it these values. After you do give those in, in Notepad++, you just save the file, save as. So I already saved it. I choose all types here. And then I named it T315.gco. And then I... It, it's already there I say yes to that I close it so I have two files here I made one for T 300 which is temperature 300 yeah, well 285 sorry and this one is uh, as temperature 300 um, this one has a T uh, 300 in its uh, command line which will go up to 285 this has the T315, which will go up to 300 degrees on your printer. So after you made these two files, you copy these onto your micro SD card of your printer. And uh, I'll show you guys what you have to do afterwards. So now at the printer site, I just put in the micro SD card and then I open the printer I turned it on everything is still normal and then you just go to print and here you will find these two GCO files that we just made by notepad++ so if I press the T300 and I just say print it says finished I just continue and now when I go to control the temperature, hot and temp, I can turn it up to, hold on, 285 normally. See, it can go up to 285 and I'm gonna close this and then go back and I go to print. When I, when I choose the T315, I say print, continue, and now I go to print, no, I go to control, temperature, hot and temp, normally now I can go up to 300, as you can see, 300 degrees, when I choose it, you will also see here, 300, and now I just hit zero again, um, so as I said, if your printing printer is giving you faults by beeping that your temperature uh, problems, issues, whatever, 
uh, that means that you have to check if that is possible to go to, uh, to 300 this is what i'm showing you is that it is unlockable in this firmware and once it's unlockable you're on your own to see if you can reach those temperatures the the port is opened by this and you can just do choose whatever when you turn off your print excuse me turn off your printer and turn it back on it will go back to the uh, standard value of 260 degrees so you will have to do again the same thing going back to print and pressing these CGO uh, or GCO files here whichever temperature that you want the 285 or 300 um, I'm never printing on those temperatures all I'm printing at is PLA, PLA tough, PLA plus and uh, some flexible filament um, other than that I actually not use any other kind of materials to print T to be honest I never needed it but uh, if you are willing to then uh, this is the start of a journey for you to show you that you can do it with the Sprite Extruder Pro on your Ender 3 V2 or a V1 or your changing your uh, Ender 3 S1 uh, to a Ender 3 uh, if you're upgrading to Sprite Extruder Pro and you want to reach the temperatures of 300 now you know how to anyways guys thank you for watching this video hit the thumbs up if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this in the future bye